All right, in this video, this is going to be one of the apps that I like to use to annotate or work through my workbooks, just like you'll be doing when you're studying. Now, this applies to both my Tease Math workbook and the Med Dosage workbook. The app I'm using here is called GoodNotes, and this is a fantastic app that is available for the iPad. Now, what GoodNotes will do, just like any PDF reader is, it'll allow you to open PDF documents and you can scroll through these documents or the way that I have this digital workbook set up for both the Tease Math workbook and the Med Dosage workbook, you can actually navigate through this entire workbook by actually tapping on something, in this case in the table of contents, one of my most recent updates to the Tease Math workbook, the multiple choice overview, it's on page 14, but instead of us scrolling there, let's tap, we're on page 14, and you can see here we do have some multiple choice questions, and maybe we're ready to dive right into doing some work. So in the top right hand corner of GoodNotes, right now we're in what I call the read mode. Because we can't write anything, we can easily still navigate through the workbook, but maybe you want to start writing. So if I jump back to this section up in the top right hand corner, I'm going to cut this into what I call annotation mode. We can start taking notes within the workbook. You can select different pen sizes. You can actually do drop downs with different colors. And really what it boils down to is you being able to write right inside of the workbook. You can even zoom in on the workbook if you want to get real close to a problem. You can work the entire problems out, or you can make quick notes like down here, a two liter bottle of Pepsi. All we really have to do here to convert liters to milliliters, the shortcut is to just multiply those liters by 1000. And notice what I'm doing here is I'm taking notes directly inside of the workbook. Now at any given point, if I want to navigate and look at the solutions, just remember, we can't click when we're in annotation mode. Notice I'm trying to click up here. So what we have to do again inside of GoodNotes is go back to what I call read mode. Now we can navigate back to the table of contents or many PDF readers also have this sidebar where you can navigate through these documents. So I have workbook solutions, but just bear in mind that's still the table of contents and it's on this second page of the table of contents. So maybe we want to jump to the multiple choice overview solutions. Page 81, notice that matches over here as well. So tapping here, we'll jump to that section, or we can go back to the table of contents and we can actually click within the workbook and it'll still jump to that same section. So notice over here in the sidebar, there are solutions to every single section. If you want to start writing within the solutions, notice I'm back in my annotation mode. You can see here that we have some answers given. If you wanna do some scratch work, obviously you can do that here. And then with all of these solutions, you'll also find that you can have some videos to watch. All of these solutions include some type of video or some type of reference to the other part in the workbook. But the thing I wanna get across here is this. You can navigate the workbook super fast on any device, MacBooks, Windows computers, Chromebooks, your phone, a tablet. And if you find the right app, such as GoodNotes, you can write right inside of the workbook. Now, if you still want to print it out, by all means you can do so, but I hope you do see why I make this workbook digital. You can write right inside of the workbook. You can easily navigate the workbook. And then every time I issue a free update, all you have to do is download that new copy. Again, that's at no additional charge and you can continue right on with your work. Now, if you don't have an iPad, there are other apps available. Say if you have a Windows computer, you can go to the Windows Store. I guess I should have said the Microsoft Store, but inside of here, let's do Edit PDF. And perhaps this one right here might work for you. Draw board PDF, edit and mark up PDF documents. There are some other paid options. And this is for your computers with Windows. Now, if you have an Android, there is an app I use called FlexSeal. This app is similar to GoodNotes, but this is for Android devices. You can import those documents. You can write right over top of them. And it's very similar to GoodNotes, but again, this is for Android devices. 
So with these recommendations here, I hope you will consider using the workbook on a device, whether it be a MacBook, a Windows computer, a tablet, a Chromebook, or any of those devices. You can have this with you anywhere you go. Granted, you save your workbook on the cloud or some storage device. But again, if you want to print it, if you want to turn pages, by all means, you can do so. If you don't have the workbook yet, go ahead and pick it up. You can find links to that and my website all in the description of this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.